So the question says, how do I get the percentage identity and similarity from the phylogenetic tree? So yeah. in session one, they had to construct a tree using a cluster, if I'm not mistaken, and they they had to extrapolate the se sequence identity and okay. percentage. Uh, let me share with you uh, how to make a phylogenetic tree using uh, uh, something you do in the in the beginning of your research, so something like a guide tree or, or something like this. But if you do uh, more professional, you need a program like Mika. But let me uh, let me show you how to to do this uh, by uh, by by using a program and also uh, how to use it how to do the same thing using Jalview, which more uh, of course professional. So um, we can find cluster uh, Omega by going to Google and uh, from Google we just you can just type cluster Omega. After you're going to cluster omega, you can easily uh, put your result, put your sequences, and make. I mean, you can copy and paste them like here. Here are the sequences, for example. Here is the I choose protein, and then I put the sequences, and then very easily I can just press uh, uh, submit, and after submission. Uh, you will get your result. Let us see the result, how it looks like. Of course, take a few uh, seconds, and then it, it will make the very simple uh, multiple sequence alignment between your sequence. Let us just wait a second here. Here is a, here is a multiple sequence alignment between, for example, these three organisms, human and mouse, and, again, and then you can find here the, the alignment have been shown. You can press show colors like this. Now you have your alignment, multiple sequence alignment, uh, at least three, of course. You then you you can find out at where is uh, your conserved sequence and semi-conserved and, uh, and also you can see your identical uh, number of sequences. Okay. Uh, what about how can I find uh, and, and the, an easy way? How I, can I find the identical sequence? Identical sequence is the sequence that have these stars. So uh, here in the bottom, you can see how many stars you have. Of course, these stars very simple that it, it will make it easier for you to find uh, how many stars are there then you can find, of course, there is many uh, programs that can count this for you. I, I will show you. But now uh, you can see there is stars. This is a number of identical sequences. The easy way you can count how many stars, this is identical. Okay. How many, uh, this shape, these two dots, this mean this is similar sequence. It's not identical. This is similar. And of course, you know the difference between similarity and identical. Identical means it's the same amino acid, the same amino acid exactly. Like here, mesionine, mesionine, mesionine at the same position. But here in this position, the three mesionine at the same position. This is identical. And so we have here star. Star means there is identical uh, amino acid in this position. Okay. If we have uh, these two dots means that there is similar. What the mean of similar? That mean that, for example, serine and tyrosine, these this two amino acids have the same characteristics and the, and the same size. I mean, the physical and chemical properties for both amino acids are the same. So that's why we have these two dots. So if you would like to count the similar, so easily you can just find how many of these two dots uh, under the sequences. Okay. And then we have also one dot, one dot here. One dot means that there is one of the physical and chemical properties are the same, maybe the same size, the same polarity, as if so. That's why it's one of the physical and chemical properties, only one, them, not, not both. So you have now this, uh, Three, we, can, we call this capitalistic science. The star, the two dots, the hyphen, and the column. So this, the, the dot, and the two dots, and the star. 
So I hope I let you know the difference between three of them. Okay, how, how I can count? You can count in the easy way uh, by just count how many stars under there. So you can see how many identical. And of course, uh, you can, by doing this, you can know the total number of amino acids. And uh, if you divide the number of uh, this stars, how many stars are there, divide them, you can know the percent identity. So you can know that there is uh, how many similarity and how many identities are there. Of course, and, and if there is nothing like here, here, there is nothing here, this is means this is mutation of substitution mutation. So it's not similar or even uh, identical. Okay, uh, you can do this. This is the hard way of doing it. The hard way is just by counting. There is uh, some programs, as I said to you, very easily. You can get all this information by uh, very easily. 